All right, here we go with uh, game three of um, Gokudam three round two for me. Opponent Sashirsky, let's go in. See Ambassador here. Um, yeah. So Ambassador with horse trainers, there's Minion. There's Sage. So we have we have some plus buy. We have um, a way of trasher. We have not um, virtual coin. Pretty good. We have um, yeah multiple sources of plus buy. Um, and these kind of conflict with that. We don't have draw here. Well, we have pseudo. We have kind of draw with minion, but it's not uh, mass treasure. Uh, draw, not the kind of draw you want for treasure. But you do have uh, the minion pawn interaction. Because almost makes it um, almost makes you want to have horse traders, but instead, what's going to end up happening, I think, is that the uh, ambassador is going to return cards, and you'll buy I'll buy pawns after that, and eventually go minion pawn with the thin deck. So I'm going to open ambassador horse traders. The horse traders, I think, it'll be a a good defense, it's buy as an asset. It's not all ideal when this happens, but uh, nevertheless, I want to. Um, yeah, it's great when that happens for my opponent. I want to thin down as quickly as possible. F4 here, with which I'll buy. Uh, Oh, my opponent also returns two. And it's the pawn that I didn't get, but uh, no matter, I'll get a silver. Here again, we're faced with the uh, one estate versus two copper dilemma. And uh, oh, this will be good. Uh, hopefully, horse traders hits uh, my, uh, my ambassador, my opponent's ambassador um, hits my opponent's horse traders. And uh, I'm going to return to coppers again because I actually don't mind getting pawn over silver. And I thin more. Hmm. Doesn't ambassador me. I could. This could be a good moment to go for a second ambassador, but um, I'm actually not so sure. I think if I just. Uh, just cycle with minion when possible would be good enough. What I mean by that is if on the hand that I don't get my um, ambassador, I'll use minion for draw. And use that, um, use one ambassador, kind of like a scheme, if you will. Or, yeah, like a scheme. Here it'll be, um, just use go for coin, discard. Yeah, exactly this. Here I want to return one estate and get a silver. I, I need buying power to get more minions, I think. Hmm. Do I return this to say to inject my deck, my opponent further, or do I uh, go for another minion? I think what I want to do is, um, my opponent's starting to feel a burn. I need to um, continue to apply that pressure. So I'm gonna, yeah, continue to apply the pressure. Do I need another silver or do I just want pawns? My income is still pretty low. I, I'd like, um, stuff, pawn, silver, pawn, silver. One more silver and then just go for pawns. Okay, my opponent's really not uh, trashing down. Well, getting thinning his deck. Um, so this could be good for me. I think uh, in the long run I could uh, come ahead. I'm gonna go for the risky plus one card, plus one coin. Hopefully get a... Yeah, because all my actions were in my other hand. Hmm. Let's reveal the horse traders. Oh, 
only returned one copper, so we could get a minion. I don't like that. Um, also, it's a good opportunity to uh, would have been a good opportunity to return two coppers and get a pawn, but alas, it does not happen. Nevertheless, I return two coppers because I really, really want to get a thin deck with minion. <clears throat> I have an option here. Simply let this uh, gross um, amount of money um, die in this hand or just go, go go risky and discard this hand but uh, yeah I don't want to go risky anymore I just want to um, make sure I have enough minions so yeah in this case yeah that's an argument in favor of getting having gotten more pawns than silvers But soon enough, if I could return enough of my coppers, then the silver would be pretty much my entire economy. My opponent is still pounding the minions, but my my deck has uh, better ambassador potential. I could use this for... I could get a, a minion and still junk my opponent, so I'm going to do this. Action coin, take two, and reveal nothing. And yes, I want a thin deck, but I still want to have uh, a minions to show for it. There's nothing much else that uh, I think is pretty critical. Hmm. Yeah, I think my opponent has uh, six of the ten minions. I um, don't mind that. Um, I've been much more active with my ambassador junking than my opponent. I wouldn't say much more, but a good amount more. And if my opponent attacks me here, I will reveal horse traders and I will not have to discard anything. So this is a way of mitigating the um, one of the more annoying aspects of minion that we're both fortunate enough to have horse traders here. And if I happen to draw, let's say, a pawn, if I, let's say I do discard, I, I set aside horse traders and draw a pawn with it, I would probably use the pawn for uh, buy. Because there's nothing expensive I want to get anymore. Opponent returns an estate, gets another. Okay, that scenario doesn't happen. Can't choose a reaction. So I can't make my opponent discard. So this would be ten. If I don't do the, if I use this for coin and use this for coin, it would get ten. There's nothing I really want to do with ten. I mean, I could go uh, pawn province. Doesn't look that great actually. I would rather see my uh, ambassador again. Um, reveals the horse traders. Okay, I don't want to worry about that. Um, discard. Alright. I want to use this for buy. I think I do. Get more pawns. Ooh. What can I do here? I could go, uh, Double pawn, province, opponent, uh, is there a chance of three piling? Not really, there's no real uh, big source of plus buy. Um, I have five minions. This is great. This is great. Pawn gold I don't like. I don't like gold anymore. I have enough silver to deal with and copper. I really don't like... Um, but if I got pawns, more pawns, and I won't be in this two, two buy situation again. I want to have more buys. I'm going to double pawn. 
so that next time that happens, I'll have more buys, and I could get more pawns, and then I could um, actually do some useful stuff. But in the meantime, in the next turn, I probably want to get uh, a green card. Hey, that still works. My opponent's also uh, considering the buy option. Let's see. Um, uh, Haram is also a source of VP. Alright, two piles are going down. Hmm. Goody. Discard this. Yep. Ooh. Sneak from my opponent. This one actually. Uh, I'm going to go for the province this turn, so if I have any future pawns, um, I'll use them for buy. I want to guarantee that I could get a province here. Five, six, seven, eight, seven. It's not so good. Uh, when in doubt, cantrip. Let's cantrip again. I think I want to return that estate. Yeah, let's return the estate. And do I get a duchy? I mean, that defeats the purpose of... Um, yeah, it's tricky because there's no village. It would have been great if there was a village here. Harem is a good comp. I think a harem. Uh, the thing with harem is that it puts a bit of um, pressure on my opponent. Um, well, it gives me a bit of an uh, easier time to uh, catch up in VP, but at the same time, it lets me get um, a critical province in the future, or it might make be the difference between a duchy and a province, or a estate and a duchy. I think um, I'm going to take a risk. I got pretty fortunate with the. Uh, horse traders here because now I do get a province so that uh, discard and I'm in the lead in the lead hmm. and uh, yeah th I there's only so many horse traders you want I think you really want to um, slow down with those eventually um, because they do get in the way if I guess um, well I am relying heavily on minions so I guess it's not such a bad thing but you can only play one of them at a time and if you have to end up if you don't have enough to buy a province then you have to use minion to discard and that whole um, draw back up with the minions is for nothing uh, with the horse traders is for nothing so uh, I'm gonna probably get uh, plus buy from horse traders le later. Let me just see if I could get a province again. Four, five, six. Yeah, I could. I could get a province pawn. Yay for math. <clears throat> Discard, discard. I really don't care if uh, I discard so much. Okay, now I, I do care, but come on, one more minion. Yeah, one more minion. Okay, my opponent gets a uh, province and something. Probably a pawn. And it puts its tide. Okay. I'm getting lucky with that uh, those minions there. Hmm. Really happy about that. Yeah. For a tiny bit of an edge, I need. 
And hey, uh, you don't have horse traders there. Mm hmm. Sure, you could pick that up, but. Uh, yeah, I see, um, again, the too many horse traders, I think. Um, you'd probably want to have more minions instead um, to target with Sage, or you want to have more minions at the hand at the same time, but. Okay, got the duchy. So, again, try to go for the province. Reaction. If I get a province here, no, I don't. Four. Getting duchy uh, maintains my lead. Um, so even if he gets a province, I'm still ahead by one estate. I think it's going to be critical here. Uh, I'm not expecting another uh, province uh, estate turn again, let alone a province duchy turn. It's getting pretty intense, yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Cantrips. <clears throat> Cantrips again. Four. I'm really wondering, um, maybe it was those early ambassadors that uh, really helped me here. I'm not sure, but I I would imagine they were useful. Yeah. Come on. Harms. Well, I get a province here, though. Mm -hmm. And this puts me in a good lead. A good lead. Okay, here I can get another duchy. Or I could discard, yeah. It's, this is like, this game's like the reverse minion law. Uh, discards my bad hands and uh, um, doesn't discard when I have good hands. It really feels like I'm on the. My opponent is uh, feeling the burn of the minion law and I'm getting all the luck. Well, I'm already ahead. Let's uh, have a slightly better chance of. Um, I'm buying more provinces. Ooh. Well, we'll discard this hand anyway. My opponent gets a province. Alright, so I don't like this hand very much at all. Alright. No piles getting low. Well. Oh, okay. Connection. Meh. Let's play it safe. Good province. Yeah, I reveal this. I could still get a pretty good card. Um, with the sound, I could get like a duchy or something. Yeah, my opponent can't... Oh, my opponent ends the game. Oh, well, um... That's the game, then. Alright. Thanks for watching.